What is going on my friends? Dev here coming at you with another vlog. Today we are here in Greenfield Village, a place I have never filmed before. Check out this building in here. Ooh, this is a lot different than last time I was here. Now Greenfield Village is a historic village with the working farms, which is that way. We'll enter that way. We'll go to the farm sooner or later. Pretty soon. But it is, I've come here ever since I was a little kid. It's been seven years, seven, almost eight years since I've actually been here. And I have not filmed this place for you guys. This place is so cool. It's actually right next to the Henry Ford Museum. If you've ever been to the Henry Ford Museum. So long since I've been here. We see a lot of cool stuff. Now. Basically now we're going to head into like the town square area. Ooh, I like this building right here. This pottery building right here. We have a lake of waterfall over here. Check this out. What is this fish in here? That old old water wheel turning, whatever's inside there. I think you can go in there. Gallery of glass. Irish imports. Look at these. You come in here and just look at all these cool glasswares. Look at that. Interesting. That one's metal. It's like a lantern right there. They had to go by. They go by eras too. This is 1820 to 1860. So like 1820 starts up there, and then 1860 down. Now we're starting to get into the modern age. This is like the top of a car. Is, sometimes you'll see this type of stuff in Goodwill, which is kind of sad. So yeah, we just went into the glass blowing shop and they've added quite a bit to it. They added some uh, TV so you can get a close up look of the glass blowing. It's hot. Gonna check out the printing office. Looks like they're getting ready to print. You'd have to set it in a little type like that that you would take out of what we call a job case. You put it in what we call a composing stick. After you set all your types, you put it in a galley, write the copy, set the type, Get it ready to print. Print whatever you're going to print. Take it all apart. Redistribute all the type back into the case because you're going to do this all over again next week. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Benjamin Franklin sold his printing business because he thought it was way too much work. I think I agree with him. Now, by the 1960s and 70s, most big newspapers and printing operations went away from letterpress because it's very... That was very expensive, so a lot of small town shops still did things this way. But today, most of your junk mail and your newspapers and magazines are printed in a method they call offset lithography or offset printing because it's much cheaper to do it. But you'd end up with something like that. We were able to open the kiln and remove our pieces, so we're just doing some quality control. Uh, the thing is, with our wood burning kiln, is the ashes. Uh, some examples of the pieces they have made. All of those are done. That even we're not allowed. 
say, when you're ready to exit, you are welcome out from the cellar the way you came in. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> Don't say that. I Can't see nothing. Some meats in there. Look at the little barrels. Like a little rocket barrel. This old machine factory. That's the one part is making them. Look at that. It's a wooden lathe. They got metal legs and metal. Some of this stuff still looks like what we use today. Looks like they're building a new restaurant here. It's going to be based on America's past. Looks like we're going to hop aboard a T. A Model T. This should be fun. We just got off the Model T's. That's probably my favorite thing to do here is ride the Model T's. Because you're riding in an old classic car. One of the first cars. You can buy like a four pack of chicken hot. Otherwise it'll just make something. Old school room. Let's go check out this house here. It's a plantation house. Walking through a garden here, and actually, they use everything that's in here because they actually cook here and they eat here as well, which is really cool. There's not much growing back here, though. There's beets, cabbage, got some dill over there. Yeah, it's really, really cool that they eat out, eat everything that they grow and make here. Really awesome. And to carefully manipulate, shape, reheat, and reshape a difficult material. A material whose changing properties could only be judged by color. Now they do actually have like their own baseball team here. And they play it the old fashioned way with no gloves. Which is really cool to see. I've seen it like one time. And then they do Civil War reenactments out here during Memorial Day. Weekend, I think. Yeah, Memorial Weekend they do. It's like the train's gonna go by here in a minute. There's a train. Man, it's
Here we go. And see, those who live long before us, what they made with their hands and used with their hands. He wanted you to be inspired. I hope something sparks your imagination today. As we come into the village, we have to choose. After you're done there, walk over to the frozen custard stand, which is our center of our universe. Enjoy one of those frosty treats before you leave today. In front of us is our Edison at Works District. We have our Menlo Park complex. It's that gray structure. In However, it would take a civil war and the passage of the 13th Amendment to the siblings attended a school there. I have a lovely coming in your house built in 1840 Well, that was a good way to end the day. Riding the train around the whole property. It's a lot of fun here at Greenfield Village. The staff actually lives in like the olden days, which is really cool. It'd be a really unique job to come here and just farm on a plot of land like the old farmers did back in the day. It'd be a really interesting job. Yeah. If you are ever in going to highly check, highly recommend you check out Greenfield Village and the Henry Ford Museum right next door. They do have a factory tour too, but you gotta really be in the cars for that. Thank you for exploring with me today here at Greenfield Village. And if you are new here, remember, check out the rest of the channel. I got lots of content for you guys to check out. And with that being said, get your foot out the door and explore. I'll see y'all in the next one.